June the 5th, 2021. Because you're looking at the USGS earthquake map, and the latest quake is in Southern California. It's right here. It's a 5.3. It's 11 kilometers west of Cala Petrea, California. It's very close to uh, the Mexican border. We'll pull this up. And uh, we had some quakes here a couple of years ago, guys, in great numbers, and they actually went all the way up to the towards Las Vegas through this valley from this area Palm below or south of uh, Palm Desert called the Salton Sea. And uh, most of you remember those uh, flurries of quakes and two or three years ago, I think it was. But right now, this quake, uh, the one we're talking about, it was a depth of 5.8 kilometers, which makes it fairly shallow. And in the video yesterday, I said that, uh, I think it was titled uh, the Cascadia slash San Andreas Earthquake Watch. And that's what we're dealing with here. And I said these quakes, and I've got this set on 30-day significant worldwide quakes, have been moving in a, a clockwise rotation. And uh, that's exactly what we're seeing. If you go back here, the Tokyo quake was back uh, on May the 13th. Then we had a volcano go off here in the uh, Aleutians. We saw a buoy go down 85 feet. Then we had the quake here. Uh, that's uh, 6.1 north of Chickaloon, Alaska. Then we started having the quakes here uh, in the uh, very bottom section of the Cascadia Fault Zone. This was uh, yesterday, again, 6.4, 5.9 off of Oregon. And I don't have the aftershocks in here. And then now we have on the San Andreas Fault, near the very, again, the very bottom of the California part of it, this 5.3. And I'm going to change this to where we can see the aftershocks in the region. And you'll see the similarities between the quake a few years ago or the quakes a few years ago in this very same area. Going to one day all magnitudes. And if you uh, do that, guys, again, one day all magnitudes and pull this up, you can see where the aftershocks are occurring. And if you check this box right here, it says only list earthquakes shown on the map. You can see there's 194 of the 422 quakes listed right in this area. As you pull this up further, right around the area at the Salton Sea, you have 167 of 422 quakes. So you've got a lot of aftershocks. Now, will it get stronger here? We saw, again, I think it was a year before last, maybe, I think a 7.1 come from this area. But things are strange. We've got... Uh, Weakened shields. We've got a lot of solar activity compared to normal going on. Our solar wind speed has dropped back down in the 300s. But uh, we're going to have to pay attention to the pressure now that's being applied, again, from here in the San Andreas all the way up towards Canada through this Cascadia Fault Zone. Those are two very dangerous areas. And let me point out something here I almost forgot. This red line that you see right here that comes just northeast of the Salton Sea, then you see a, a break in it that goes through this quake zone. And uh, it continues. Let's see, let me pull that back up. South of there here and goes through Mexicali and down into the uh, Gulf of California. That is not a fault zone. That is a plate boundary. Fault zones are different. When you turn those on, you'll see a lot of smaller faults and all. When you're dealing with plate boundaries, remember this. This line right here as it comes ashore in California is separating two tectonic plates. So we're not only dealing with uh, solar pressure on our shields and the tectonic plates, but we're actually dealing with pressure on the two tectonic plates. One in the ocean that comes ashore in California. It's moving left to right. And the main plate for the rest of the U.S. here is moving from right to left. So it's submerging the outer plate or the east, or excuse me, the left plate you're seeing. So it's not just pressure from solar activities now that we're seeing because for years scientists have said that there's a plate pressure on the San Andreas. It's past time also on Cascadia. Is that what we're starting to see? We're not sure about that yet, but it's a good time to pay attention. I just wanted to point this out, that uh, the quakes are moving in this direction, uh, which is clockwise. So pay attention to what we're seeing happening.
It's a heads up, guys. Be safe.